the Book of Mormon, chapter 2, uh, book 2, Nephi, chapter 2, redemption cometh through the holy Messiah, freedom of choice, agency, is essential to existence and progression. Adam fell, that men might be men, are free to choose liberty and eternal life. And now, Jacob, I speak unto you, thou art my firstborn in the days of my tribulation in the wilderness. And behold, in thy childhood thou hast suffered afflictions and much sorrow because of the rudeness of thy brethren. Two, nevertheless, Jacob, my firstborn in the wilderness, thou knowest the greatness of God, and he shall consecrate thine afflictions for thy gain. Three, wherefore thy soul shall be blessed, and thou shalt dwell safely with thy brother Nephi, and of thy days shall be spent in the service of thy God. Wherefore I know that thou art redeemed because of the righteousness of thy Redeemer, for thou hast beheld that in the fullness of page 57 of time he cometh to bring salvation unto men. Four, and thou hast beheld in thy youth and his glory, wherefore thou art blessed even as they unto whom he shall minister in the flesh, for the spirit is the same, yesterday, today, and forever, and the way is prepared from the fall of man, and salvation is free. Five, and when men are instructed sufficiently that they know good from evil, and the law is given unto men, and by the law no flesh is justified, or by the law men are cut off, yea, by the temporal law they were cut off, and also by the spiritual law they perish from that which is good, and become miserable forever. 6. Wherefore redemption cometh in and through the holy Messiah, for he is full of grace and truth. 7. Behold, he offereth himself a sacrifice for sin, to answer the ends broken heart and contrite spirit, and unto none else can the ends of the law be answered. 8. Wherefore how great the importance to make these things known unto the inhabitants of the earth, that they may know that there is no flesh that can dwell in the presence of God, and save it be through the merits and mercy and grace of the holy Messiah, who layeth down his life according to the flesh, and taketh it again by the power of the Spirit, that he may bring to pass the resurrection of the dead, being the first that should rise. 9. Wherefore he is the first fruits unto God, inasmuch as he shall make intercession for all the children of men, and they that believe in him shall be saved. 10. And because of the intercession for all, all men come unto God, wherefore may stand in the presence of him, to be judged of him according to the truth and holiness which is in him. Wherefore the ends of the law which the Holy One hath given unto the inflicting of the punishment which is affixed, which punishment that is affixed, is in opposition to that of the happiness which is affixed, to answer the ends of the atonement. 11. For it must needs be that there is an opposition in all things. If not so, my firstborn in the wilderness, righteousness could not be brought to pass, neither wickedness, neither holiness, nor misery, neither good nor bad. Wherefore all things must needs be a compound in one, where, page 58, for it should be one body, it must needs remain as dead, having no life, neither death, nor corruption, nor incorruption, happiness, nor misery, neither sense, nor insensibility. 12. Wherefore it must needs have been created for a thing of naught, wherefore there would have been no purpose in the end of its creation. Wherefore this things must needs destroy the wisdom of God and his eternal purposes, and also the power and mercy and the justice of God. 13. And if ye shall say there is no law, ye shall also say there is no sin. If ye shall say there is no sin, ye shall say there is no sin. He shall also say, There is no righteousness. And if there be no righteousness, there is no happiness. And if there be no righteousness nor happiness, there be no punishment nor misery. And if these things are not, there is no God. And if there is no God, we are not, neither the earth. For there could have been no creation of things, neither to act nor to be acted upon. Wherefore all things must have vanished away. 14. And now, my sons, I speak unto you these things for your profit and learning. For there is a God, and he hath created all things, both the heavens and the earth, and all things that in them are, both the things to act and things to be acted upon. 15. And to bring about his eternal purposes in the end of man, after he had created our first parents, and the beasts of the field, and the fowls of the air, and in time all things which are created, it must needs be that there was an opposition, even the forbidden fruit, in opposition to the tree of life, the one being sweet, and the other bitter. 16. Wherefore the Lord God gave unto him that he should act for himself, wherefore man could not act for himself, save it should be that he was enticed by the one or the other. 17. And I, Lehi, according to the things which I have read, must needs suppose that an angel of God, according to that which is written, had fallen from heaven, wherefore he became a devil, having sought that which was evil before God. 18. And because he had fallen from heaven, and had become miserable forever, he sought also the misery of all mankind. Wherefore he said unto Eve, yea, even the old servant, who is the devil, who is the father of all lies, wherefore he said, partake of the forbidden fruit, and ye shall not die, but ye shall be as God, knowing the good and evil. 19. And after Adam and Eve had partaken of the forbidden fruit, they were driven out of the garden of Eden to till the earth. 20. And they have brought forth, page 59, children, yea, even the family of all the earth. 21. And the days of the children of men were prolonged according to the will of God, that they might repent while in the flesh. Wherefore their state became a state of probation, probation. And their time was lengthened according to the commandments which the Lord God gave unto the children of men. For he gave commandments that all men must repent, for he showed unto all men that they were lost because of their tran transgression of their parents. 22. And now, behold, if Adam had not transgressed, he would not have fallen, that he would have remained in the garden of Eden. And all things which were created must have remained in the same state in which they were after they were created, and they must have remained forever, and had no end. 23. 
and they would have had no children, wherefore they would have remained in a state of innocence, having no joy, for they knew no misery, doing no good, for they knew no sin. 24. But behold, all things have been done in the wisdom of him who knows all things. 25. Adam fell that men might be, and men are, that they might have joy. 26. And the Messiah cometh in the fullness of time, that he may redeem the children of men from the fall. And because that they are redeemed from the fall, they have become free forever, knowing good from evil, to act for themselves and not to be acted upon, save it be by the punishment of the law, at the great and last day, according to the commandments which God hath given. 27. Wherefore men are free according to the flesh, and all things are given them which are expedient to come to man, and they are free to choose liberty and eternal life through the great mediator of all men, or to choose captivity and death according to the captivity and power of the devil. For he seeketh that all men might be miserable like unto himself. 28. And now, my sons, I would that ye should look to the great mediator, and hearken unto his great commandments, and be faithful unto his words, and choose eternal life according to the will of his Holy Spirit. 29. And not choose eternal death according to the will of the flesh, and the evil which is therein, which giveth the spirit of the devil power to captivate, to bring you down to hell, that he may reign over you in his own kingdom. 30. I have spoken these words unto you all, my sons, in the last days of my probation, and I have, uh, page 60, chosen the good part according to the words of the prophet, and I have none other object save it be the everlasting welfare of your souls. Amen.